Hey, what's up guys? Hey, we're out here. Uh, we're gonna fly the uh, DJI Mavic 2 Pro today. Uh, we're gonna try out the hyperlapse mode. We've had some uh, rain here lately and we got some uh, really nice clouds rolling across the sky. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna put it up in the air, check out that hyperlapse mode, never used it before and um, see what we can get. So uh, we'll check back in after uh, we check out the footage. Uh, so we see you in a little bit. Bye. Yeah, so here I was just uh, set it up on auto mode. Just threw it up in the air to see what it did. Uh, I brought it back. It's a little overexposed, it seems. Um, it really saturates the video and it exposes for the darker s scenes, as you can see in the clouds there. It's super blowing out. I was able to get a little bit back, but uh, you don't get. You don't get a flat image out of here and it's really not the highest quality so same thing with here in the um the sunset images exposing for the sky it looks nice i wish we could have got a little more dynamic range with the uh this the the cars driving through the uh blacks down there but they were just crushed out i couldn't bring anything back at all Here's a few days later, uh, I decided to take it up and do an auto or a manual uh, exposure settings. Again, super oversaturated, but I was able to bring a lot more back uh, by setting up my own exposure levels. And it looked a lot better on the uh, on that second edit. So yeah, that's it. Uh, it turned out pretty good. I enjoyed uh, flying the drone in hyperlapse mode. It was um, a bit, bit tedious though because you gotta you gotta set your beginning and middle points. Um, you, you burning up a lot of batteries setting those points, and then you either gotta set the drone to fly backwards. If depending on what kind of shot you want, the drone's either gonna you're gonna fly a set point A and then fly to set uh, set point B and then fly backwards, or the drone will actually return to point A and then fly A to B again, or any any uh, any set number of uh, ABC, you know, uh, locations in between. So, I don't know, it, it, I just, you just didn't have very much control over it, I don't think, it only records in 1080. Um, I think there's a way, my, my mind is uh, wandering here, but I think there's a way to do um, a hyperlapse where you're just capturing the photos, but even the photos aren't that high resolution because I did capture the photos as well as the video that the DJI app produces, and they were not that re great a resolution photos, so and they were already processed. I wasn't getting flat photos, maybe there's a setting in there, I'm not sure, but these are just my first impressions, throwing it up in the air as. Uh, from a beginner standpoint, I'm not trying to be a professional um, hyperlapse photographer, but uh, just putting it up in the air and trying it out for the first time. Uh, it's a fun little feature. I'd like to do it in a more populated area with more cars, more people, that kind of thing. Um, and maybe I'll try it out again someday, but uh, overall, it, it's a fun feature. Not something I'm going to use the drone every day for. I'd rather just uh, throw it in video mode flat and, uh, and get the best image I can out of it. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell notification icon if you want to get notified each and every time I'm posting up a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.